As the climate gets warmer, it also creates longer periods with no rain and more periods with lots of rain, including flooding. The people who are most affected by this are subsistence farmers. There's over a billion of these people whose primary asset is what they grow. The only way to reduce the suffering to poor farmers is to help them with better seeds that make their crops more heat tolerant, more drought tolerant, and just higher productivity. The CJIR system is a group of global research facilities helping to improve all the different crops with a big focus on the crops that help the poorest. One of the leading CGIR research centers is CIMIT, the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. They're working on improvements to maize that are more productive, that are resistant to drought and diseases. It's a leading example of the amazing work the CGIR system does to help smallholder farmers so our idea is to breed uh, new varieties that uh, respond to climate change. That means the varieties are coping with drought, coping with uh, heat stress, and also the diseases and pests that come with climate change. In communities where farmers are adopting the new varieties of maize, they are able to get yields that are 20 to 30 percent above the other farmers who are not using drought-tolerant varieties. Improving the productivity in a crop like maize in sub-Saharan Africa has a cascading effect in terms of eating. Have a more balanced and healthy diet and send their children to the schools. In the face of climate change, a lot of the discussion is about reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But the thing that's not gotten its share of attention is helping the poorest who did not emit these greenhouse gases. For poor country farmers, the CG system is the only hope we have. We owe it to help them make much improved seed that can save millions of lives.